The planet we live on is 71% water, with 96.5% of all the water on Earth being held in the oceans. It's therefore unsurprising that there are plenty of mysteries and discoveries waiting for us down in the deep blue. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent oceanic discoveries. NOAA scientists, while exploring the Mariana Trench, have come across the wreckage of a B-29 flying superfortress. Water can conceal all sorts of mysteries and secrets, hiding little objects that serve as a little reminder to the history of the area. Sometimes, however, those nods to the past are not so little, as NOAA scientists uncovered a rather large piece of history within the Mariana Trench back in 2016. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is an American-based scientific and regulatory agency. Formed in 1970, it has been looking over the conditions of the oceans and the atmosphere, searching deep in the sea, protecting and managing marine mammals, and even forecasting the weather. From up high in the sky to the very bottom of the sea, this organization has been busy exploring and protecting for decades. In 2016, an NOAA team of scientists under the research unit Okeanos embarked on a research mission to survey the Mariana Trench, located in the west of the Pacific Ocean. So far, the deepest we have recorded in this trench is 10,984 meters. It goes without saying that with the Mariana Trench being so deep, there is bound to be a few surprises hiding beneath the surface. The Okeanos team stumbled across the wreckage of a Boeing B-29 heavy fighter plane. The Boeing B-29 Superfortress was a heavy fighter plane flown by the United States in both the 1940s world conflict and in the Korean conflict. It was one of the largest aircrafts used, built with revolutionary technology allowing it to reach both incredibly high altitudes and surprisingly low ones within the one design. It's the only aircraft that has ever used weapons of mass destruction during battle. It's fair to say, given these details, the Boeing B-29 Superfortress is an iconic piece of military history, and it's truly exciting to have found this wreckage. Perhaps making for an even more thrilling discovery is that the team were partway through a live broadcast when the wreckage was found, letting people sat at home be part of the experience in real time. The wreckage was found at 357 meters into the depths of this trench. Once again, with a coincidence fit for the big screen, this discovery came on July 9th, a remarkable finding made at the 11th hour. This exploration project was carried out from April 20th to July 10th, with the fighter plane being found on the penultimate day. It was near the northern Mariana Islands, closest to Sapan, that the plane was found. Several units have been found during explorations of the Mariana Trench, though this is the first found in the Saipan Channel, according to official NOAA social media accounts and various reports. It's assumed that these wreckages are the result of technical difficulties or pilot errors. Further examination and research will be conducted both into this important piece of history and into some of the deepest waters on our planet. NOAA finds weird lines of holes in the mid-Atlantic floor. As we have already established, there is plenty lurking beneath our waters. In late July 2022, a team of scientists uncovered a peculiar set of holes along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean that we are yet to find an explanation for. A team of researchers were exploring an underwater submerged mountain range when they found the holes. These are an odd series of dots forming near straight lines across the base of the ocean floor. It was on July 23rd that this discovery was made, and since then professionals have been asking whether these are creating trails, designs, or some other sort of significant pattern. It has been NOAA Ocean Exploration that set on the mission to explain this unusual finding. A representative of NOAA Ocean Exploration explained that the holes look like they could be made by us humans, though they are surrounded by small piles of sediment that seem to indicate they have been excavated in some manner. They were also described as sublinear. They have not ruled out that these holes may have already been reported on, though we are still none the wiser regarding where they came from or how they were made. 
the team were in the midst of a dive to investigate around the summit of Azores, an underwater volcano. They were at a depth of 1.7 miles when these holes were found. The NOAA scientists have been mapping the deep water areas of the Charlie Gibbs Fracture Zone, Mid-Atlantic Range, and Azores Plateau. Not too much is known about these waters, though this mission and developing our knowledge of the area is part of the Voyage to the Ridge 2022 expedition. Scientists have encouraged members of the public to take part in posing theories and speculating what might be at the root of these mysterious holes. One person asked if an animal or object could be within the holes, another suggested methane gas, and another the possibility of underground springs. Parasites are riding seafaring microplastics. Pollution has, of course, rapidly become a cause for growing concern. Between ocean cleanup missions and the switch towards paper straws, the plastic in the ocean is a hazard everyone is aware of. Ocean plastic pollution is incredibly dangerous, though the most harmful pieces of plastic are not entire bottles floating along, though this is also not good by any means. The real evil is microplastics. Microplastics are the result of plastics in the ocean breaking up into tiny particles. Similarly, some plastics do not break up into small parts but are already tiny plastics. These are microbeads. These pollutants can be absorbed into or digested by various marine ecosystems. Now, however, it seems these microplastics have become a threat to our oceans in yet another way. Researchers have discovered that tiny parasites have the potential to travel across the ocean and towards even onto various sea creatures and marine life via these microplastics. Researchers have conducted experiments under lab conditions, through which they tried to find which germs are able to fix themselves onto these microplastics. The team revealed that three commonly found germs, Toxoplasma gondii, Giardia, and Cryptosporidium, are fully able to attach to these synthetic materials of microbeads and microfibers. It's true that this might not be something that is happening out there on our planet, in our oceans, but this study has proven there is the potential for this transmission process to occur out there in natural environments. We now know that fish and shellfish often carry microplastics, so now we need to consider how these germs traveling alongside microplastics will impact both the ocean life and human life. Ocean life conservation is an issue of the utmost importance, though it is an issue often dismissed. It can be hard for us, as humans, to empathize with the animals being impacted by our waste. Karen Shapiro, an infectious disease expert at the University of California, however, has explained that this study could help to propel change genuinely being implemented. Humans eat various sea creatures, and so if the seafood we eat has been exposed to infectious diseases carried to them by microplastics, we, in turn, are consuming these same germs ourselves. Shapiro hopes that the impact of microplastics moving these germs into our own food and water supplies could be more of a motivation for change, especially to those who do not share much concern for ocean life or whom see these pollutants as inevitable. The experiments involved pathogenic protozoans being introduced to microplastics that had been soaked in seawater. Of the germs tested, Toxoplasma gondii can cause cysts to form on the human brain, eyes and skeleton, Giardia and Cryptosporidium can both cause diarrheal disease in humans. More importantly, these are all recognized by the World Health Organization as an underestimated cause of illness, often from eating shellfish. Every germ that was tested did attach to the microplastics under laboratory conditions, though to varied extents, with polyester microfibers often used in clothing attracting more parasites than polythene microbeads, which is more often used in cosmetics. Plastic pollution has been found to transport chemicals before, though not as many studies have looked at biological contaminants and the impact this might have. The issues we have discussed here so far have, rather selfishly, considered the impact upon humans. Though these microplastic piggybackers, regardless as to their impact upon humans, are vastly detrimental. They can, and likely will, introduce abnormalities to food webs, disrupting these delicate underwater ecosystems. We don't need any more reasons to clean up our oceans, though these are awfully good ones. It's time to take a look at our plastic pollutants a little more carefully.
but what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.